We all make mistakes. It's how we learn and grow. But there are times when mistakes can really, really cost us. And taking the AMC exam is definitely one of those times when you don't want to risk your preparation by making avoidable errors. Yes, they're avoidable. And today, let's go through the top five mistakes to avoid while preparing for the AMC part one exam. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button. We are here to help healthcare professionals like you to move abroad. And trust me, you don't want to miss any of the essential tips we have got coming your way. Mistake number one is treating AMC like NEAT PG. Now, if you think AMC is just like NEAT PG, spoiler alert, it's not. The AMC is clinical based while NEAT PG focuses more on theory. So if you're expecting the AMC to be all about memorizing facts, you're in for a surprise. The exam is more about solving case-based questions that test your clinical reasoning. So make sure you're practicing those clinical case studies, not just reading theoretical books. Just get used to how the questions are structured and how to solve them. Number two, relying on too many books. I know it can be tempting to gather every single book out there, but trust me, it's just going to confuse you. You're going to waste your time jumping from one book to another and still feel like you haven't covered anything. Instead, focus on a few good high yield books that are specifically designed for the AMC exam. Books like John Murtagh's General Practice and the AMC Handbooks are great resources to focus on. Consider that and don't forget to use some AMC specific question banks to get familiar with the types of questions you will see on the exam. Then comes mistake number three booking the exam date too soon or too late some of you might rush into booking your exam early thinking it'll push you to study harder but that can lead to a lot of stress and feeling unprepared on the flip side waiting too long to book can leave you with less time to revise so that's just asking for last minute panic right the key is balance don't rush it book your exam when you feel confident with your preparation ideally you should give yourself at least three to six months to prepare properly now mistake number four underestimating the exam and last minute cramming some people might think it's easier than other exams like USMLE or PLAB so they don't give AMC the attention that it deserves. Others leave all their studying to the last minute which leads to panic and a lot of stress. I'll tell you the truth. Every exam, including the AMC, requires proper and consistent preparation. You can't rely on cramming everything the night before the exam and expect yourself to perform well. To truly succeed, you need at least three to six months of solid, focused preparation with a well-structured study plan. No shortcuts there. Now, mistake number five, not joining an online preparation course. Now, I know self-study is important, but a good online course can help you take your preparation to the next level, like Academically's AMC preparation course. These courses are structured specifically for the AMC exam. And in the course we provide, you will get organized study plans, expert advice and high quality practice questions that are spot on with what you will see in the exam. It helps you stay focused, ensures you're covering the right material and makes sure you're studying efficiently. It'll keep you on track and help you get the most out of your study time. So these are the top five mistakes to avoid. Stay on track with these tips and you'll be in a much better position to take the AMC exam. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future tips. And hey, let me know in the comments if you have made any of these mistakes or if you have any tips of your own to share. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.